Hi guys, welcome to Beer 24-7. Today is a review on the uh, Fest beer from Lidl. Um, it came with this Stein as well, and it also came with this huge um, beer can. Uh, to give you a rough idea of the size. There's a standard can. There is the one that comes with the stein. So to give you a rough idea, it's pretty huge. Um, and this is their uh, Oktoberfest range. And it's the first time I've actually ever had this beer. So um, I thought we'd give it a go in the stein uh, in proper Oktoberfest style. So, oh blimey, can't even open that. I think I've been drinking way too much of the old, uh... <laughs> I just use a pen. I uh, just washed the glass. I've got soap over my hands. Uh, here we go. So, I want to get a bit of head on it. Here we go. Terrible pour. He says, it's catching up. There you go. Oktoberfest. Oh, it's best. There you go. Look at that. It's quite dark in colour. <laughs> there is no carbonation whatsoever in that and that's like a four finger head uh let's have a quick look so it is a little bit about the beer uh fest beer uh, it's limited edition apparently um which is quite interesting uh what else have we got on here of any type of in information that will be uh interesting in any way whatsoever it's 5.5 abv uh, which is quite interesting. It's brewed in Germany, um, but apart from that, that's all we know. And it's got some bird on the front who's carrying 15 or so of the steins in her hand, which makes it obviously authentic for Oktoberfest. So it's very dark in colour, first off. Uh, massive head, um, which is already uh, disappearing. Like I said, there is zero carbonation in that whatsoever. Uh, it's almost like an apple juice in colour, if I'm completely honest, or a bit of orange cable after a few heavy ones. You know what I mean, orange cable the next morning. But, see what it smells like? It actually smells quite nice. It smells like a good lager, actually. Uh, yeah, which is, you know, considering it's, I, I don't know, I've never had it before. I would have thought that, you know, any type of, the normal lagers that you, that you have for the Oktoberfest are normally sort of premium, and you want to pay a bit of money for them. It's relatively cheap. Let's go in for a taste. Oh. Okay. It's quite, it's not bad, actually. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's a bit bitter at the back end. Um, it's drinkable, you know, for two quid. I'll be honest. Um, it's a lot better than Carlin or Foster's or Calls or some of that crap. Um, so I don't think you can go wrong with it. I think if you were going to have a couple of cans and you picked up the Carlin and you walked past this, you're a mug. Chuck those away and say this is tastes far better. And it is 5.5%. So you'll actually, you know, you'll actually feel it. But it actually tastes all right, to be honest. Mm. I mean, it's not... It's not a a Spaten or um, a Lambrow Oktoberfest, admittedly. I don't think they, they, they brand as that, do they really? Um, but as far as like a lager goes, that comes out a little, that's just a bit of fun for Oktoberfest, I think absolutely perfect. If you're going to a party or something, I would 100% suggest picking this and a few of the cans up. One, because the actual cans of this stuff in the 500 mil are a pound. Um, excuse me. You can have eight of them for eight quid and you'll be tanked. Yeah, I reckon 5.5%. Yeah, 
you'd be pretty messed up by the end of the night. So I'd probably say it's going to be a far better night than it would be on the Fosters or the, uh, the Carlin. But back onto this one, though. It's, it's dark in colour. There's zero carbonation. The head's disappeared. It's gone. You know, it's a market was never really there. Um, I'd imagine it would be pretty much gone in the next couple of minutes. But that drinks really easy, to be honest. It actually tastes quite nice, all things considered. Um, it's only a limited edition, so I don't think it's something they're going to be doing all year round, but it is definitely available at the moment, 2020. It's, what's the date today? It's the 15th of September, um, and it's still available. I bought this yesterday. They had loads in stock at the uh, at the Lidl, uh, where I am in, uh, where I live. There's a few of them in our town. I think most people are going to have them. Um, so if I'm going to give this a rating, I think, first of all, five quid for this stein and this, absolute bargain. You're almost getting realistically a can and a half worth of, worth of lager and um, you're getting a stein that you can use to drink it out of, so you look a little bit more original. And um, and you can use it again year in, year out, can't you really? If you go around to make your mates laugh, it's quite a funny glass to, to whip out with the boys at a poker night or something. So yeah, or if you're having a Ruby Murray, you don't have to use it for your beer. You can put your Coca-Cola or juice, whatever you want in it. You know what I mean? It's just a good glass to have. The geezer's glass, isn't it? So what am I going to say? Bargain-wise, price point, it's a 10 out of 10. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Bear in mind, it'll cost you eight quid to buy one of these off the internet. And it's exactly the same. Um, so price-wise, for, for these two, a 10 out of 10. Taste-wise, it ain't bad. Listen, it ain't the best beer you've ever had. But um, I don't think you go wrong with it on a night out with your mates or a night in. For your, uh, if you're doing a party even, an Oktoberfest party, get some of these. Be pretty good. You'll be pretty popular with your neighbours. It goes down easy enough. I'm actually going to give it a 7 out of 10 for taste. Yeah. <clears throat> it's gassy, but it tastes good. It's lager. It's what you want. So listen, have a good evening, guys. Thanks for watching. And subscribe if you want to. And there'll be more videos. Thanks very much.